All right, I'm getting ready to get started. My wings have been in the crock pot probably for about a little over four hours. I got maybe another hour, hour and a half to go. I've got my cornbread mixed up. I've just kind of added some little things a little bit different. Uh, this is uh, about two boxes of the Jiffy mix, a quarter cup of cornmeal, three eggs, a little bit of olive oil, and one stick of butter. I've actually added some chopped spinach. You know, there's a way that you can get all your stuff in that you need. For example, all of your vegetables and fruits and things. And this just adds a little bit more kick and taste to it, almost like the broccoli cornbread. And I've added uh, maybe about a cup of milk and about two tablespoons of sour cream. Um, I'll add a little bit of sugar and a little bit of honey just to kind of give it a sweetness. You can actually change it up if you want to get spicy. You can put in some jalapeno peppers. You can put in some cayenne pepper. They'll do the same thing. Add that heat for you. I've got a cup and a half of jasmine rice, which I'm going to cook in my broth from off of my chicken, my turkey wings that I've actually had cooked. And I've got my fat back cooking through my bacon grease. I've got my fat back cooking in the bacon grease. Fat back is good all the time, and all the time fat back is good. So I'm gonna let these cook down, then I'm gonna add my collops that I've already got chopped up. So let me cover this up because this is really kicking. And I'm gonna get my stuff mixed up in here. So let me get it. I'm gonna put in this bacon dish because I want, want the cornbread thin. Um, the thinner the cornbread for me, the better the taste is. Thick cornbread is good. So I've got my pan that I've already got greased. That was from the margarine, the butter, I'm sorry. So I'm gonna put this in here. Yeah, it's gonna be just like I want it. It's gonna be nice and thin the way I want it. So let me get every nook and cranty out of it. I'm doing me a quick Sunday dinner. Collets, cornbread, turkey wings, and rice. Okay. So, I've got this ready to go in my oven. It's at 350. So I'm going to put my cornbread in and let that cook. I gotta make sure I melt some butter to put on top of it because I like hot butter when it comes out. It kind of melts it down. Oh, Ooh. That back just doing this thing here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you have to be careful because this fat back, this grease is no joke. So this is about ready. This fat back is good. And it's good and crunchy and crispy. Everybody don't like fat back, but if you cook, you cook up some you, and you let them be around long enough, I guarantee they'll be on that fat back. So I'm just gonna let it cook a little bit more, like for it to get good and crunchy and crispy, so it can cook down in the collars. And I've got me a bag of collars that I cut up yesterday, and I washed and I froze them yesterday. These are just one one bunch. I don't need a whole lot. It ain't but me and girl to Myrtle, but sometimes she eat and sometimes she don't, you know. She done got her in here shallot. And then got big time. Let me turn this down because this grease is good and hot. I gotta let this grease cool so let me Yeah, I'm using my lid. Let's put this off of the eye for a minute or two because I don't want that the grease too hot. And I've used my bacon grease. I saved my bacon grease, y'all. So I use that to cook. Uh oh. Now this has come to a boil. Let me turn that down. So I've got my I've got my wart, my broth that I've used and it's cooking down. I've got it to a boil, so I've turned it on all the way down, probably 
not too low just yet, but almost too low, and I'm putting in my rice. Again, this is one and a half cups of jasmine rice. I've kind of added just a little bit extra to it, which I had uh, just a little bit of parsley and a dash of thyme, and a little bit of salt. Garlic salt, I'm sorry, garlic and salt, garlic salt and pepper mixed. So I'm gonna let that cook down. I let that go. Now this is ought to be kind of calmed down enough where I can get this back on the eye. I want it to be too. Yes, I left a piece in here just to kind of. Let me know that it's calmed down. The grease has calmed down a little bit. So, these are my collars that are out of the freezer, but I, I just cut them up yesterday. There's one bag that I cut up. One bunch, I'm sorry. One bunch of collars that I've cut up. So, I'm going to take everything out of the Ziploc bag. I love Ziploc bags I use religiously because I can put and store it into and everything that I need. Okay. All right, so I've got my collets in. And I do, I used to, before this acid reflux just kind of got to me, I used to put in um, some crushed red pepper, but my acid reflux, as I'm getting old, just don't work for me, so I'm not using any of the uh, pep, the, pep, the uh, crushed red pepper. I'm just going to put a little bit of regular coarse black pepper, some salt. So my hand is heavy and some sugar to kind of take away a little bit of the bitterness from the collars and some seasoning salt so we're going to let that cook i'm just going to go ahead and let my bacon get on my bacon i keep saying bacon my Pour everything else on top and just kind of let that start cooking down. So I've got everything going. My turkey wings ought to be ready probably about one. I say I'm gonna give it to one thirty because I'm gonna give an extra thirty minutes because I know they I know they're cooked and they're ready because they are tender. But I just want them to kind of be real to be able to fall off the bone. So I've got everything going. I got my butter, my, my cornbread bacon. Uh, I better melt me a stick of margarine. Yeah. So I can have four holes in my hands when I get out of this hot. So. That's what I'm doing. Let me get my margarine melted. So that can go on top when it comes out. on down because it's cooking. Yeah, there we go. I'll turn these collars back up. So. All right, I see. We're going to get this going and finish. I got a call coming, so I'm going to have to go, y'all. I will be back.